just want to do a quick video on running the fridge off solar today. Um, here's the Outback charge controller. You can see the battery that I have hooked up to it is at 14.4. Um, it's in absorption, so we're getting about 9 amps right now. Um, I've got two 230-watt sharp solar panels hooked up to it, so 460 watts. It's coming in at 34.5 volts. So I've just got the two hooked up. And the plan is to run this old fridge in the basement off this 1,000-watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Now, the battery bank is disconnected for the winter, so I've got this uh, four-year-old deep cycle battery here. But, uh, it's just been sitting around for a few months, so I hooked it up. You can see it's uh, it's got some frost on it. It's, uh, it's pretty cold. So anyhow, the inverter's on. And we'll go see if we can't get that fridge to start up. You can see it's a uh, it's a nice sunny day. So that panel there is not hooked up to the Outback. That one's on a grid tie. But we'll check the panels and see how they are for snow, anyways. That's not too bad. So the the third panel at the end there that's covered in snow, it's hooked up to the grid tie. I can't uh, can't quite reach it to clean it off, but the first two are hooked up. And just the bottom corner that the one panel there is uh, covered with a bit of snow, but it doesn't seem to bother it. Let's go inside and see if that fridge will fire up. I put uh, in the spring, you can see a connection there on the ground. I just ran some conduit underground and just put a uh, an outlet there for running, you know, garden tools and stuff like that off the inverter. It's just underneath the 265 watt panels. So there's the extension cord running in. Let's go check it out. There's my extension cord running in. Well, that's the old fridge, so it's definitely old. So there it is plugged in. So that's interesting. It's taking 38, 39 watts running off. So that's, uh, that's not very good. Open the door and see if we can't get it to turn on. Let's see what happens here. So there it went up to 79. It's just with the light turning on inside. We'll see if the inverter can't uh, can't start this thing up. Might have to go and actually just turn the temperature up. To see what happens. Ooh, so it did start. The light dimmed down quite a bit. There we go. So it's running it. But that is a lot of power for a fridge. I think it's time to replace this thing. 438 watts. There we go. 539 to start it. 119 volts. 4.4 amps, so we're taking about 45 amps out of the batteries. It's coming down a little bit as the uh, compressor gets going, but let's see how the uh, how the Outback's handling that outside. So we've got 12.6, 12.5 on the battery, and we've got 31 amps coming in off the uh, the two panels, 400 watts. So that's actually not too bad considering there's 460 watts hooked up to it. 
So we'll run that for a while and uh, we'll see how that goes.